chocolate as well through it. Zion so first part of this little vlog series anyway we at the campground here it's the next morning we arrived last night like 8 30 ish but best fucking thing is boom right there behind us is a shower it's got like 10 showers massive bathroom hot water I'm in heaven honestly I've missed not being out of shower morning right now I just showered shower again tonight literally living in luxury right now this is what it feels like anyway uh if you don't know me i shower twice a day so not having to shower for like sometimes it was like three or four days we didn't shower for I like wipe myself down with a wet like a, a cloth that was not it that is not the play so this is a bit of luxury this is nice um yeah doing a bunch of hikes in the next few days here for five nights well four more nights now can't complain yeah Canyon or day one in Zion, went to Brass Canyon, doing a walk. down for an entire mile non-stop down now we realize we have to get back up again at some point it's not gonna be fun to go. also again if you fall you're dead might not but it'd be a shit climb back up that's for sure window window looks like a cathedral kind of more crazy views Welcome back to another episode of Bear Grylls. This time, we have been dropped in the middle of the Utah outback, Bryce Canyon, surrounded by mountain lions, no food, no water, just a backpack and survival skills. And one morel. <laughs> How are we gonna make it out of here alive? Stay tuned. Would you look at that? We've spotted some, what is he in? Mountain lion shit all over the tracks. I mean, the, the tracks that we found. No horses, that's for sure. Definitely mountain lions. They're all around us, they're watching us. Ooh, that's a tree. knowledge for some reason but that's what they're called big pointy towers and there's a bunch of them we're all the way down here and we have to go all the way out there god damn
I almost to go to Zion today and walk around to a couple of hikes. Turns out if you go past 10 a.m., it is fucking busy as hell and you can't get a park. So we ended up driving all the way through, all the way back out, and now we're having a chill day today and we'll try again tomorrow at like 7 a.m. or something. Show. We are at the park at 7.20 this morning or 7, whatever. The park hasn't even opened yet, so we're just driving through. shoes for the see the go the narrows so we don't get wet even though the water's gonna be up to our waist and we're about to walk through the water i'm ready I'm walk out the stream baby this is the path you get to the narrows They got super deep, it was up to like uh, up to my crutch. And then when the water's so cold, it's freezing. It was deep, but worth it. Now it's shallow again. Water is freezing, my nuts are gone. We didn't get Angel's Landing permits, we tried for like four days, but we're doing. What's this called again? Narrows. Narrows? and 100% worth it. Get some waterproof shoes, which stay waterproof for about three seconds. But they are warm, yes. And they're grippy and you get a stick. The stick's worth it. Um, and definitely just do that if you don't get that. Or if you come here, do both if you can. But yeah, super awesome. This is crazy, honestly. This is, look at this stuff, man. It's nuts. Like emerald water. people how good is this look at that view man it's fucking crazy shit 
You shall not. You shall not pass. Fine, you can go ahead. Well, we got to a point here where it was like waist deep. I uh, not waist deep, like armpit depth. So we decided to turn around. And that pretty much ended our hike. It was definitely longer than two miles though. That was crazy. We've been out here for like three hours walking through this stuff. It's insane. Whew. Now to venture back for another three hours back. Whew. Worth it, bro. Every, like, absolutely incredible experience. Sun's come out finally. We were here at like 7.30 this morning. So it was still pretty, the sun was still coming up. Wasn't coming between the canyon yet, but now it is. Warming up a little bit. How crazy and nice is this? Insane. We're heading back now. Best part about Zion, honestly. I thought thought Bryce and Archers was better, but then after doing this, this is better. Personally, in my opinion. Some noodles cooking, some chicken sausages, some egos, that uh, Coke Zero, best shit ever. Just got back from walking through the Narrows at Zion National Park, and honestly, it was one of the best experiences ever uh, in terms of hiking and stuff like that. The views were incredible. The water, like walking through the water and stuff was just so fucking cool. Um, yeah. It's our last day here today. Tomorrow we're going to Antelope, then the Grand Canyon, and then we're off to Vegas. So hopefully two more days and then I'll post a video up. Also, last night, c won his sixth Olympia in a row. Insane. And then he retired, obviously, after that. Uh, not obviously, but he retired after that, for those who don't know. Which is sad. But he also did have to just have a kid. He's got a wife. So, you know, going out with the sick, his best physique he's had so far, by far. And yeah, ending on a high note, letting some other people compete now. Because there was no competition, honestly. He was just next level. But yeah, pretty sad that you're not going to see him on the stage and that sort of thing and training and things like that. But he was an inspiration to myself and many other people. So really, really awesome to see yeah don't know what to say that's it today is the last day in zion for us well yesterday was the last full day today is just the morning and we're packing up packing up everything getting ready to go we're off to antelope canyon today it's like all the wavy sort of rocks you can see everywhere you see on instagram and stuff so that's what we're doing today and then tomorrow the grand canyon just gonna be some free camping for the next two nights so no showers which is gonna suck but it's fine and then from the canyon, we're going to Vegas. Yeah. Have some breakfast, pack everything up, head off. It's like a two and a half hour drive to the um, Antelope Canyon, which is nice. We're gonna get some food on the way because we're running a bit low on some stuff. <sighs> yeah. Yes, I've gone back to the sideways hair, whatever you wanna call it. Uh, it just, it was annoying me, it's getting longer, so. It is what it is. Maybe I'll change it back to the way it was before, but we'll see. Finally decided to start raining after two weeks of perfect weather. A week of perfect weather, not two.
right? Said we've had good weather non stop, and then immediately it rains on the way back. I'm drenched. Lovely. Campsite for the night, six sunset. Noise, final made the great game. Squinty. <laughs> Something to note if you are going to go to the Grand Canyon is be prepared to hike two, four, six, eight, nine hours, even on overnight. There's nothing like a little loop you can do just to see a view. Like you can walk on the edge and go to the viewpoints, but all the all the hikes are like insane hikes, um, which we are not doing. I cannot be bothered at this point in the trip. The views look pretty cool on the hikes. So you got pictures and stuff over on that board over there, but yeah, be prepared. If you are going to come here, you probably want to come here for a few days. And if, if you want to be hiking, that is, the hikes would be freaking awesome, but I'm just not prepared for that, and neither is Morel. So yeah, but something to note, next time if you ever come back, if I ever come back, or whoever's watching this comes here, be prepared to walk for a long ass time. That's a track. Yeah, if I wanted to hike, I'd definitely want to go all the way to the bottom. Insane. The videos don't do it justice. It is so big in person. Um, but yeah, unless you're doing a hike, nothing crazy. It's pretty easy walks along the rim. Along the rim. Again, it is raining outside today, but we just left the Grand Canyon. And that is going to be it for this vlog. The next one is going to be maybe Death Valley in Vegas, depending on what we do after Vegas. We have two days between Vegas and. LA. Oh, we'll see. Okay. Oh,